You recently bought your first airsoft machine gun. Congratulations. Now you're ready to lug that 15 piece pound of metal into combat, but once you get into the fight, you suddenly realize you were outgunned by players with an M4 and a drum magazine, going full auto and ripping it into your booty hole like they do it for a living. Let's talk about airsoft LMGs and HMGs, that's light machine guns and heavy machine guns, and why they are so helpful in the real military, but almost useless in airsoft. The first point we need to make is the full auto effect, how players with regular rifles own the battle space. LMGs have a regular gearbox, just like any other airsoft rifle. They might have stronger internals, but that doesn't mean they are going to have more stopping power than a rifle. In real life, LMGs and HMGs have bigger caliber rounds. They have quick change barrels for overheating and they are belt fed. These machine guns pack a punch and can penetrate body armor, sever limbs and just rip the body to shreds. Airsoft machine guns don't do this. They don't have a higher caliber and they shoot like any other airsoft rifle for obvious reasons. Sure, you can upgrade the internals, maybe buy a better hop up, turn your gearbox into some kind of creature that only really works when it feels like it, but odds are that gearbox won't last long and you'll end up buying a new one at the end of the month or if not, after every freaking game. You also cannot tone down your FPS if you fail chrono. So if you spent the entire weekend gutting that thing and putting in all these creature-like parts and then you fail chrono, well, now you're just picking up a regular M4. But a player with a lighter, more capable carbine with upgraded internals is always going to outmaneuver you any day of the week, especially if their gun is actually working and yours is not. My second point is that airsoft machine guns generally are very heavy. They're full metal, they copy the real deal unless you buy like a featherweight M249 or other types of models that weigh less. The primary models are going to be plastic and metal, weighing substantially more than the average M4 or AK-47. So you'll be slower than the enemy, pack just as much of a punch as them, and your internals will fail much faster. So why even buy one? The flip side of this argument is fields and HPA setups. Machine gunners change the landscape in airsoft to fields that restrict regular riflemen to semi only. I played a field in New York called Zulu 24 where the owner is prior service and he understands how combat works. And that is that the regular riflemen never really go full auto. They simply don't have the ammo on a blow and they need to be accurate when engaging. So his concept is that it should be this way in airsoft as well and the ideal works great at the field. I have 8 years of military service in the army as a grunt and not once did I ever go full auto with my M4. The only people who were shooting like crazy were the saw gunners. Most airsoft machine guns these days run on an HPA system, which outperforms just about any regular gearbox and do not have the wear and tear gearboxes do. Most people with regular rifles still house a gearbox setup because they are not putting as much wear and tear on their gun as an LMG gunner would be. HPA systems also have one moving part, the solenoid allowing a machine gunner to stay on the trigger all day without worrying about malfunctions. The HPA machine gunner is also capable of customizing FPS and rate of fire with ease, pushing the field to its limits and regulations and customizing their FPS and rate of fire on the spot. So if you go up to that chrono and you fail, no big deal. I'll just step off, I'll pull out the mini computer, and I'll adjust my FPS to meet the standards. And I know what you're thinking. Can a regular rifleman just buy an HPA system and throw it in his rifle? While that is true, most riflemen don't opt for the HPA system. Although recently at all the fields and games I've been going to, all I've been seeing is HPA system. It's just convenient for a lot of people. The gearbox setup is cheaper and still formidable enemy on the battle space for riflemen, so I don't see the gearbox going away for a long time. While machine gunners need something to separate themselves and strike fear into the enemy, especially if you put a little sound amplifier in the end of that thing and it's got a rate of fire through the roof and it's maxed out on FPS, people get pretty scared by those things. We also have to consider the cool aspect of things. No Milsom squad or just any weekend squad is really complete without an LMG or HMG. Having a big guy walking around with a 240 Bravo slung around him looks very realistic and it's just damn cool especially if the machine gun has sound amplifiers on it and is loud as hell. There is nothing like having your machine gun or provide support by fire while you move on the enemy. It's just cool as shit. So are LMGs and HMGs worth it? Definitely. 
If you like that role, then jump into it. Just be aware that if you don't have an HPA system, you might be lagging behind with the times. For instance, I had a stoner LMG I bought brand new off of Evike, and after two weekend games in a row, it completely stripped the gears and completely ruined the gearbox. You have to consider that your LMG might die on you and you're going to have to replace the gearbox, so you might as well buy an HPA system. Also consider that a lot of fields are adopting the semi-only rule for rifles, so if you have an HPA machine gun, you're going to dominate the field and people are going to be scared of you. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more videos like this, and check out my channel so we can grow this sport.